Hello everyone, thank you so much for stopping by my first video of 2024. I'm so excited you guys to share with you some wonderful news. This video is a collaboration video between Fumi and myself. They were kind enough to reach out to me over the Christmas holidays and they asked if I wanted to sample some of their brushes and so this was the set that they kindly gifted to me to share with you guys some beautiful watercolor art and I just am so excited because I am very familiar with the Fumui brand. I purchased on my own two years ago the nine piece uh, sable mop brush set and you guys have seen these brushes in my videos a whole lot of times because I absolutely love them especially these larger ones they're just so good for soft washes and backgrounds and loose florals as well I believe that's probably what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today in the video uh, just to give you the heads up all right so I know that you can't see the name you know the brand on the, the handle but yes these are part of that nine piece set that I purchased for my 45th birthday a couple years ago but ain't nobody counting <laughs> all right so these are the brushes that they sent to me thank you so much for Mui. i'm so excited and i hope that this video is the first of many art collaboration ship videos that i will be sharing with those of you who care to watch all right so this this beautiful set is the seven piece variety set and okay I apologize about the abrupt ending there I had to stop the video but I went ahead and brought you guys down a bit closer so we can see these brushes up close and just how beautiful they are this is the seven piece variety set as I mentioned and what a wonderful variety you do get we get several four altogether round brushes oh, this is the dagger brush yep, we get four round brushes and then we get three wonderful special effect brushes all right so we get the size 9 cat's tongue brush or oval wash brush a size 12 flat wash brush and the one i'm most curious and excited about is this quarter inch dagger brush all right so i'm going to go ahead and remove all of this stuff all of this crinkly stuff these brushes are so well made this is the number nine cat's tongue brush these brushes are absolutely beautiful. The sizing cleaned off just fine. And they are ready to be used. I have some Dick Blake paper in the background. 100% cotton watercolor paper, 140 pound cold press. And that is exactly what I'm going to be using. I know I mentioned loose florals in the beginning, but now I'm not so sure. But I just wanted to show you how they look like all cleaned up ready to go all right my friends so to save some time I went ahead and set myself up with two card from panels here this is using the meat and paper it's 100% cotton watercolor paper 140 pound cold press and the texture is perfect especially for inks because that's exactly what I'm going to be using today I took out my Tim Holtz distress spray stain ink in lumberjack plaid these are beautiful vibrant intense transparent inks and then the oxide line distress oxide line um, it's more of a um, oxidized look I don't know how to quite describe it but if you watch Tim Holtz and are a fan of his work and his uh, dream team <laughs> they just make such wonderful art and uh, mixed media art pieces well I'm going to go ahead and use those inks I have here kitched flamingo and picked raspberry and this is a lumberjack plaid here so these are the colors that I'm going to be using for today's video and I'm going to begin with doing something super special I know I'm, I'm going out there I, I promised myself I was going to bring my A game for 2024 and my art but I'm not going to pressure myself either this is just what's flowing out of me and these watercolor brushes that Fumui was kind enough to send to me they're just pretty amazing <laughs> I absolutely love them all right so let's go ahead and just let her out with the fine line resist pen here well that didn't work did it <laughs> one second all right looks like my bottle is pretty clogged so I guess I'm gonna have to do some masking a fluid surgery here all right so I cleaned off this area but I think it's the actual needle so I'm gonna have to do some 
a deeper cleaning there. So I'll just go ahead and squeeze some of this out and let me put a cover back on it. Then I'm gonna just use a brush that I, I'm okay with uh, using it for this purpose. And I'm just going to let her out, XO, XO, all over. And I saw this on the Dick Blick uh, Instagram page, but it was from last year. But I purposely looked up Valentine's Day card inspiration online and Dick Blick had this. They also had another one that had the word love across. So yep, you can see very just no razzle dazzle here. <laughs> the hard part will be uh, waiting, but that's okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, because I got all the time in the world this morning. Okay, and then for this one here, gosh, all sorts of things begin to uh, to open up, doesn't it? Let's go ahead and do some lettering. I haven't done any lettering in so long, so let's see what I got here. How about just some simple, simple lettering? That's my heater in the background. do is I'll just yeah I'll just add some little whimsical hearts all over the place you can see I'm not caring too much about how they look like if the lines are thin or thick This is going to look amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Just add some here to the side to make it seem like it's a pattern. Yeah, like that. And then we can even grab a little bit of, a little bit more of it on the brush. And I'll just use my pen here to do some splatter on both cards. And now, oh, that's going to look pretty awesome. Now the waiting game begins. Let me go ahead and clean this brush off because this brush actually did really well with the masking fluid. All right, guys, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, looks like I'm all set now. I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek into the color combinations that I'm going to be using in the next few videos. I mixed some of that gorgeous peacock feathers with sponge sugar, lumberjack plaid, kitsch flamingo, and picked raspberries. And I'm using the same paper for swatching, so Oh my gosh, I can't wait. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and have a seat and we can continue. Okay. It's been over an hour since I let them air dry, so I feel pretty confident. I'm gonna go ahead and begin. This is the number 10. And I measured these small card fronts against the smallest pre-cut, pre-folded. 
card bases from the Michaels brand recollections. I use the craft colored ones and it's a perfect fit. So you can get four of these size card card fronts from the seven by 10 block, whether it's meeting or bail hong. Okay, probably gonna get some right there. All right, let's just go ahead and begin. I'm gonna just add different different inks here. This is sponge sugar. These are not watercolor inks at all. As a matter of fact, the packaging states here that the Distress Oxide Spray, these are water reactive dye and pigment ink fusion. And then the spray stains here are spray dyes for papers and porous surfaces. So you can see how they are definitely very watercolor-ish friendly. Thing is with this project, you have to let it naturally dry in between layers. <laughs> so lots of patience. For you guys, it'll be a quick pause button. But for me, it could take, I don't know, with the way I'm layering things, it could take over an hour. All right, let's go ahead and begin to use some picked raspberry. Oh my goodness, you can already see. This is great. And I was going to do this two at a time, and I'm glad that I'm not, because I could only imagine the mess I'll get into. Looks like I got some fuzz there. Oh my gosh, you can just do the most prettiest gradient. You know what, let me grab some of that lumberjack plaid and do just that. The darkest inky area up here in the corner and then the softest, lightest color. And I can already see the splatter that I did towards the end when I take off the, uh, the masking fluid, it's going to look amazing. This is just wonderful. Thank you to Dick Blick for the idea. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a little bit of this and that. And I also have some uh, ink here. Yeah, this stuff gets everywhere, so be prepared for inky fingers. I got some acrylic ink here by Amsterdam. This is their deep gold color. I might just add some of that here on the side, but I don't want to put that directly on top of the paper. It's all about experimenting, and these brushes are just wonderful for this. So I'm grabbing a little bit of that ink. in there. You know what, I'll grab some and I'll add some down here. And I think it'll just give me that slight shimmer. And I'll continue layering. And then I do have my spray bottle. I have to be careful with this side here. Basically, however you want this to look like, you just have at it. Okay, I know I said I wasn't going to work on this side, but I can't use the heating tool, so I have no choice but to wait. So let's go in with some Kitched Flamingo. 
there is some shedding as I'm doing this, but that's just, you know, the nature of these brushes. I'm going to also share some of the videos that I found helpful. These respective artists go into a deeper dive uh, when it comes to reviewing the Family brand. I'm new to reviewing things, so I just want to concentrate on sharing the art with you guys and then you know as I grow continue to grow I'm actually gonna add another color here I have seedless preserves um, but yes as I continue to grow I'll be able to share more of that with you guys inky inky oh this is just wonderful oh my gosh I am just so happy I took the chance. I like the whole idea of darker in one corner and lighter in the other. This tape better not let me down. It usually doesn't. <laughs> I love that you can use these brushes and splay the bristles out and they'll still snap right back into shape when you're done. Give these brushes a good wash if you're considering using these kinds of inks because it gets into the bristles. I'm really loving that seedless preserves. I think I'm going to grab some of that and mix it with the lumberjack plaid to give this ooh, give this a pop of color. Here we go. I'm also going to do another one of these panels uh, with the flat wash brush to show you how to get a beautiful, soft gradient. This is just wonderful. I. I'm just so happy. <laughs> I'm going to continue layering that gorgeous color right here. Whatever little bit of shimmer I had, I'll just add it there. Speaking of shimmer, I'm so excited. I made my first, I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'll try, Yuli. Uh, purchase a few days ago, and it just shipped out today. So I cannot wait to get those three beautiful inks, uh, beautiful watercolors. <laughs> Can't wait for that. Lots of gold in these uh, beautiful cards here. My gosh, this is just great. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry because I think this is about as much ink that I want on them. And I purchased this eraser to remove the masking fluid. So I hope it works. Of course, you can always use your finger so, yep, I'm going to go ahead and let this dry. Uh, I'm thinking maybe, let's see here. Really putting this meat and paper <laughs> through the ringer here, but I think I'll be just fine. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to do the other cards. All right, guys, I'll be back. There is just something about these inks on a cotton watercolor paper that is so beautiful to see up close. And I thought you would like to see that. They're not done drying yet. The temptation to use my heating tool is huge, but I know what's gonna happen if I do, so I have to be patient. And I am so nervous because look at all that ink pulled up in that corner. But I've done this before with the same paper and the same tape with watercolors, you know, so. Okay, 
So why not go ahead and work on the other two card fronts here? Because yeah, it just makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, the number nine cat's tongue brush. And I'm just gonna lightly spray both panels here. And I'm just gonna use whatever I have left over. I've seen lots of people do hearts with their mop brushes. So I'll do the same with the cat's tongue. And I'll just dip my brush into the other colors. I'm not looking for perfection here. I'm just having a grand old time. <laughs> I really am. Oh my gosh, I cannot contain the joy that this is giving me. Art for joy's sake, Christy would be proud. Let's grab some of this peacock feather. Tim Holtz would be proud. Oh my goodness, this is wonderful. All right, let's uh, grab more of this gorgeous color. More pink. Oh, this way. I think spraying the paper first really gives it some zhuzh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is just fantastic. Let's go ahead and make this, uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll make this the last one. Last line here. You can also do it on both sides. Oh, that is just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. What would be even more wonderful? <laughs> oh, that's right. The Lindy's Stamp Gang Starburst Spray. Most of my audience is from my paper crafting days. So if you weren't down with these, then where were you? <laughs> where were you? Because even making your own versions of these, remember that video? Oh, Lord. All right, let's go ahead and just, uh, this is just a gorgeous shimmery spray here. Uh, I really should put it in a separate well. I don't wanna contaminate it. I'll show you really quickly what it looks like up close. Think of this as a beautiful light wash, shimmery light wash for your watercolors. Yeah, my cell phone's gonna begin to act up. Give me one second. All right, I'll just bring you guys down really close so you can see. For those of you who are familiar with neutral tint, this is exactly what it looks like in my opinion. You know, very watered down but with that beautiful slight shimmer to it. And Lindy's Stamp Gang is still very much a big deal. And I wanna do this while these hearts are still wet. So I'm just gonna drop some of that in there. Just love the drying right here oh my gosh there's also mica spray I do have some of the Tim Holtz mica sprays but I next time I'll take those out and I will I'll play with those you won't see you know the effect of this right away this is the number six brush, and you can see just how wonderful it's. Oh, perfect. I didn't think this was still wet, but it is. Just how this wicks out these colors. Oh, my goodness. I'm just so happy, you guys. So 
I don't mean to keep on oh my goodness and oh my gosh, but it these truly are oh my gosh, oh my goodness moments. Um, shoot, what do I do for this side? Okay, so a little bit more water. Over there too. <laughs> All right, I've seen this done on several art accounts on Instagram. I'm going to link the one I recently saw. And I also think Gina Rainey did this as well. So I just want to make sure that I credit those who I've seen do this. Um, I'll just start over here. This might be a bit more harder than the other one. Should have done is yeah next time I'll do the, the square shoot which way okay sorry <laughs> uh, let me grab some of this the struggle is real my brain doesn't want to make it make sense oh that's pretty that's sponge sugar I'm bringing it right from the bottle cap. That is very pretty. Uh, let's grab some of this um, picked raspberry. I'm gonna get a huge pop of color. Don't worry about the fibers of the brush sticking out. That's normal. Ooh, that is not normal. One second here. fantastic just completely overwhelmed with joy I really am all right going back in with the gold this time I'm gonna be a bit more heavy-handed so let's bring out that number two gorgeous gold ink I'm hoping this will do something special. Okay. Maybe not, but <laughs> I thought it was going to flow for some reason because I did with other inks, but maybe not with these. And that's okay. Oh, okay. I need to just add a little bit more water. in between oh my <laughs> oh my goodness you know I've been uh, recording these videos since I got the brushes last week looks like I got seeing something like this though makes me think of those gold flakes so that's something that I want to also look into but yes I've been uh, working with these brushes since last week and again that's why the the brand is not on the handle anymore because 
I've been using them, which is a good thing. I think I already mentioned that. Sorry, I don't mean to repeat myself. Oh my gosh, that is just stunning. Look at that. should have done too is uh, I could have also done some line work in between each little each little rectangle here that's what I've done I also love how I can get the perfect little rounded dot unless there's water there it's that teeny tiny little tip right there. Takes a bit to get used to, but splatter splatter everywhere. Even some of these gets some splatter. Well, you can't say you didn't learn something today. <laughs> <laughs> because I know I did and I am so happy and so excited to have shared all of this with you how is this doing I can tell if it's dry if it's completely flat uh, I don't trust it all right I'll be right back all right the good news with these two is I did use my heating tool to speed up the drying process and you can see that beautiful Lindy's Stamp Gang shimmer. Gag me with a spoon gray. I still have the other colors too from that set. And then look at that gorgeous Amsterdam gold. Oh my gosh. All right, let me go ahead and get the cards because I am definitely going to put all of these uh, panels that we did here on their cards. All right, these are the smaller card fronts from Michaels. They come with the matching envelopes, but yeah, they're really nice too. Okay, I'm just using my couple of pens to uh, weigh that down. The moment of truth. <sighs> oh boy. Well, the actual masking fluid technique is a success. I am so happy. Sorry about the bumping and the shaking. I know I was going to use, uh, supposed to use that eraser, but I just took out this regular eraser. And I'm glad I did all that splattering. All right, let me just, yeah, I'll save you all of that real quick. This is how this one looks. I got to tell you. The paper, what a champ, <laughs> what a champ. Yeah, this is wonderful. Somehow my peel reveals and masking fluid peel, whatever they call it, is not as satisfying, but you can clearly see the results are wonderful. Okay. Look at that crisp white heart in that corner where all that seedless preserves was just slapped on. <laughs> this is wonderful. Okay, let's see. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so happy. Just 
a little bit right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, not quite satisfying, is it? Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Oh gosh, look at that. I give it all. Yeah. Oh Lord. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> I use these until they are no longer usable. So maybe it is time to quit with this one. But oh my gosh, you guys, this is fantastic. A little bit of peep through color right there, but hey. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think we're going to be just fine with these right here. This one here in the middle first, or nope, this one. All right. <laughs> well done, well done. <laughs> this is fantastic. All right, my friends, there you guys have it. I know I said I was going to uh, make them into cards, you know, adhere them to the cards, but you know what? These are standalone pieces that I am so proud of, but they can most certainly be cards for you. Feel more than welcome to do that if you'd like. And a huge thank you to Famui for reaching out to me and just sharing their wonderful uh, products or product with me so I can share more of this wonderful art with you guys. This is just a little bit of what's to come for 2024 and I am just so happy that I was able to share this joy because I am so extremely happy with the way all of these came out. And if this is not a testament to that meat and paper, then what is? All right, you guys. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Until next time. And once again, thank you to Famui. Bye-bye.